things get a little bit more suspect with the freaking invasion objects. So in this episode, we find a lot of details about, you know, the whole world with no black gun. We find out a lot about the EG and holders. Like, we find out, you know, oh, like, Jack's real name is, like, I think it's, like, Adam. And then we go and her and Ogre go to, like, second platoon. And we re-meet, you know, with Gandhi and Newt. And, and they're shocked to see that they act so differently compared to, like, combat. Like, Gandhi, he just seems like he don't give a fuck. He's just chilled out and relaxed. And Newton is, like, making out with everyone. At first, you think, yo, what the fuck? She's kissing Jack. It's like, are they going out or something? But then it's just, like, kissing over. And I'm like, what the fuck is, like, going on here? And you see, you know, we meet a lot of people from, like, we know in the past, like, the first platoon, we already met Galileo. We did, we seen John, I think, once. And then also uh, Vidioc as well. We seen, like, a few of them in the openings and that. So... They're pretty much the first platoon, the second platoon, and we see that the whole world is that they have three huge, like, sky bases rolling around, and pretty much each, I'm guessing, like, there's, like, two to three pl uh, platoons in each one, since we know there's, like, about up to six at the moment, both platoons, and they're just going around the world and pretty much dealing with the invasion objects. And we see as well that, well, one thing was interesting about this episode is that they're, apparently, if you keep using the E-genes, that apparently your personality changes, like, due to, like, Newton, her one is, like, complete, like, a freaking schizo in whatever mode she's in. And then as well, we've seen that Ogla, uh, she seems to change as well. I mean, there was that little hint in last episode that, you know, she just went freaking crazy with the rape face. So I'm guessing maybe, like, episode 10, maybe on that, that you'll see it start to see that she's starting to change and that, you know, oh, she's going to turn into Nobunaga, all that kind of stuff. And pretty much the rest of the episode was them finding out, oh, like, how we find out how the invasion objects pretty much separate their brains and let everyone know, oh, this is what happens. Which is an interesting thing. Like, they send off these parasites, they get eaten by fish, they get eaten by, like, the freaking invasion objects, and that's pretty much how they uh, spread around there. So, overall, I think I'd have to give this episode a 7 this week. It was alright. It was actually very interesting, but let me know what you think in the comment section below, but... That's all for me, I want to thank you very much for watching, and remember, I'll see you guys.